Hi there. My name is Dirk Leroy and I'm with UCAMCO in Belgium. It's my pleasure to welcome you to our Gerber X2 introduction movie and take you through some of the formats, features and highlights. We launched Gerber X2 earlier this year with a single goal in mind to provide a robust and standardized medium that can take both layout data and valuable PCB design information from CAD to CAM. Gerber X2 builds further upon extended Gerber, but where extended Gerber deals with image transfer only, X2 takes it one step further and allows useful design information to be included in the manufacturing files. In this first video I want to give you a taste of two of the format's most powerful features, namely its ability to include board stack up information and secondly the attribute system for tagging Gerber X2 features with specific CAT information. To illustrate the first, let's have a look at this Gerber X2 dataset. After creating a new job, you can see how the software automatically recognizes the files in my input directory as Gerber X2. The distinct X2 header information makes it very easy for software tools to recognize an X2 file. After selecting the complete list of input files, you can see how they are being added to the new job. In a matter of seconds, a full-blown job appears, and as you can see, a complete layer stack up appears along with it. The previously laborious task of scanning through additional text files to find out the intended layer stack up, or worse, trying to work out the function of every layer from its file name, is a relic of the past. In the X2 format, every file in the set knows its precise function and location within the board stack up. You will also have noticed that apart from copper silk screen outline and solder mask layers, a set of drill files have emerged from this input. Indeed, X2 also puts an end to the archaic tradition of splitting up a manufacturing data set into Gerber and Exelon files. The X2 format provides ample functionality to describe the characteristics of any drill or route file, such as their being plated or non-plated, as well as their span. As a result, blind, buried, back-drilled PTH or non-PTH drill files can be fully automatically loaded and qualified, just like any other layer in the set. So it's image and full layer stack up all from a single standardized data source. Imagine the speed up for automated applications, for instance, that extract quotation information directly from customer data archives. Today these programs have to run comprehensive image recognition algorithms to work out a layer's function and position in the stack. Not so when your data comes in Gerber X2. Layout and stack up, it's all there in a single format. At this point, let's leave the input and stack up part and turn to this other X2 feature I was telling about, the system of attributes that allows defining the function of copper features within a data set. In a traditional extended Gerber file, a circle pad provides no other information than how big it is. But using the attribute system in Gerber X2, the same circle pad may now be further qualified as being part of a BGA landing pattern or as being solder mask defined rather than copper defined for instance. This extra information can then be put to good use during DFM and CAM further downstream. Please have a look at this dialog called Markup Assistant. It features a multicolor interface to highlight different path attributes in different colors. If I wanted to quickly see all BGA paths on copper layer 1, I could simply assign the color blue to them. Or do the same for SMD paths and have them displayed in yellow. Or via paths in green, for instance. This brings us to an interesting case. Let's take a closer look at these via paths. Very often they will have a solder mask clearance smaller than the copper pad, but bigger than the drill hole. In a standard CAM workflow, checking such data for, let's say, 50 micron solder mask clearance around the copper will typically generate hundreds of false errors. But not so when these copper pads have been labeled as via pads and your software tool can take advantage of this information. It is then very easy to exclude them from the general test and check them according to a different rule set, as you see demonstrated here. Like this, there are many other occasions where the availability of additional design information can help optimize the CAM workflow with a definite speed up as a net outcome. This brings us to the end of this first little tour. I hope you have enjoyed it and I would like to ask you to stay tuned. There is more X2 material to come. 
In the meantime, feel free to download the Gerberx2 format description from the download section at www.ucamco.com and start discovering what X2 can do for your front-end and engineering departments.